behind me are two 18 kPVs and four all-weather wall mount batteries, as well as the necessary panels for code compliance here in Sulphur Springs, Texas. This is the system of Marcus, our product line manager at EG4 Electronics, who I interviewed in the video about e-stop safety in the top right. The system is powered by 15 kilowatts of bifacial solar panels, and it's set up for self-consumption and selling back to the grid. Marcus's system originally had two batteries, but when he added two more, he's utilizing the 18 kPV's independent battery feature. So with his two inverters, he has two batteries on each one. This allows him to separate the charge and discharge of each bank so he can keep one for reserve and effectively utilize the other. Now, with the 18 kPV settings as well, you can go back and forth, allowing you to get the most cycles and discharge out of each battery bank while still always having that reserve power in hand. The independent battery setting is extremely effective for lithium in particular, as the BMS likes being cycled in order to maintain that maximum efficiency. We also have these features on 6000 XP, as a lot of systems really won't need two 18 kPVs. That's a lot of power. In order to set up this feature, you'll need to go to the EG4 monitor site at monitor.eg4electronics.com and log into your account. Then, under the maintenance tab, with your 18 kPV selected, scroll down to the parallel system settings. You'll need to read your inverter, and then you'll see that the share battery will populate. And here you can click disable to have separate independent battery banks. For more features like this and to see more system builds, check out eg4electronics.com and make sure to like and subscribe to see more content from our YouTube channel. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions you'd like for us to answer in the next video. We'll see you next time.